On behalf of Amy, I'd like to welcome you to Water Beach Waste Management Park. We're really proud of what we do here, be it increased recycling rates, help Cambridgeshire County Council deal with their household waste, or help local businesses dispose of their rubbish. Across the site, we have a number of different waste treatment technologies, including in-vessel composting, materials recycling, landfill, and mechanical waste biological treatment. This activity means we have a lot of vehicle and plant movement and interaction. We want to make sure you leave as you arrived and we're committed to keeping you safe while you're at the Water Beach Waste Management Park. Please listen carefully to the next few minutes of the video as it will give you some important guidance on how to stay safe on site, including the hazards to be aware of, the protective equipment you may need to wear and what to do in case of emergency. Please follow the guidance of your host while on site as your safety is their number one priority. Thank you. Water Beach Waste Management Park is an active waste treatment facility. Within the site we have a mechanical biological treatment facility which deals with household rubbish, reducing it to a compost-like material for landfilling. A materials recycling facility which sorts different types of recyclable materials such as plastic, paper and glass. Two different types of composting facilities which take gardening and food waste a dedicated construction and demolition waste area, a landfill site, a free soil improver section for residents, an education centre for use by local schools and the community. With so many different areas and site users, including children visiting the education centre and members of the public, it's important we all follow the guidance issued in order to stay safe. You are not allowed to walk around the areas of the site beyond the Weybridge unless you have permission from and are accompanied by your Amy host or you've received a specific induction which allows you to do so. If you haven't done so already, please also make sure you're signed in. That way we know who's on site in the event of an emergency. This is a working site and we have large vehicles coming on to and moving around the site all the time. Please take care at all times, whether walking or driving. If you're a pedestrian, you must only use the designated walkways and crossing areas, ensuring the road is clear before crossing. Stay away from any vehicles or mobile plant, unless the driver or operator has stopped and indicated it's safe to approach. And never walk behind a vehicle or mobile plant. Please do not use your mobile phone whilst walking as it may mean you're not paying full attention to the hazards around you. If you're driving on site, please obey site speed limits and traffic signs, keeping a lookout for vehicles and traffic hazards. If you are in a vehicle on site, you must wear a seatbelt. Please do not use a mobile phone or CB radio when driving plant or vehicles unless your vehicle is stationary. If you're reversing, Please check your view is clear and there are no pedestrians behind you. If you have reversing alarms, please use them. If your vehicle has flashing beacons, please also activate these whilst driving. We do not allow children or animals to leave vehicles while on the site, unless they have prior permission and are escorted by a member of our team. If you are using the car park, please ensure you reverse park your vehicle. If you have driven a vehicle in any areas other than the car park, please conduct a safety check before you drive back out onto the main road, particularly ensuring any debris has been moved from your wheels. Because this is a working site, it's important that you can be seen by others. All site users must wear personal protective equipment, PPE, as shown on signs, if entering any areas of the site other than the office area. Anyone leaving a vehicle cab past the Weybridge, except in areas designated as not requiring PPE, must wear high visibility vest, jacket or top. Safety footwear with midsole and toe cap protection. Hard hats with, in marked areas, goggles and hearing protection. Gloves when carrying out manual tasks. 
some areas of the site may have different PPE requirements to those we've outlined. Where this is the case, you'll be advised by your site host and will be required to follow their guidance at all times. Our priority is to keep you safe. If you do have an emergency, discover a fire, see smoke or any other unsafe condition, please tell an Amy employee immediately. If you hear a fire alarm, whether in the building, in a vehicle or on site, you must go by foot to the designated muster area. The muster area is at the front of the building next to the bike storage. It's easy to spot as it's next to the globe sculpture near reception. If there is an emergency, Please follow the instructions of the Amy team and do not return to the building or site until an Amy fire marshal and your host tell you it is safe to do so. Please also alert a member of the Amy team if you see something which might affect the environment, such as a spillage, litter or waste stored incorrectly. We have designated first aid facilities and trained first aiders on site who will provide assistance when needed. We also have a defibrillator which is kept in reception. Here at Water Beach Waste Management Park, we're dealing with rubbish, which is dirty and can carry germs and diseases. Please make sure you wash your hands regularly and definitely before eating, drinking or smoking to avoid waste-borne diseases. Toilet and welfare facilities are available across the site. If you're unsure where they are, just ask an Amy employee and we can show you where. Although very rare, one particular risk is a form of jaundice known as leptospirosis. The disease is caused by an organism that is carried in rat's urine and which contaminates water and moist soil. The organism is absorbed through the skin, mouth and eyes and gets into the bloodstream most commonly through cuts or scratches. You can help reduce the risk by taking these steps. Always wash your hands thoroughly before eating or drinking. Ensure any wet clothing used on site is thoroughly dried as soon as possible after use. Do not touch your nose or mouth with your hands during work. Further guidance on the symptoms of leptospirosis and what to do if you think you have been affected can be found at reception. We are committed to keeping you safe, but we also need you to help us to do that. We therefore ask that you do not smoke on site unless you are in a designated smoking area. Drinking alcohol and taking illegal drugs is not allowed under any circumstances. If anyone appears under the influence of drink or drugs, they will be banned from sight and the police will be informed. Our team is here to help you and we ask that you respect our employees. Verbal or physical aggression or bullying will not be tolerated. Thank you for watching this video and following the guidance we have issued to keep you safe. If you are working or driving on site, you may receive an additional induction which provides guidance on the hazards and requirements in your work area. Please complete this induction if requested to do so by your Amy host. Remember, do not try to access areas of the site where you do not have permission to do so. Finally, please stay safe on site and remember to sign out before you leave. Thank you.